This is the introduction video to the new larger hog scrubbers. Of course, hog means hang on glass scrubber, algae scrubber, and they all have magnets designed to attach to glass or acrylic. In this case, up to 5 eighths of an inch thick. 5 eighths. Now, uh, here in front of you now are the three versions. The one closest is the hog 1.3. This is the hog two, and that's the hog three. They all look the same size because the shells are the same size. It's the stuff on the inside that makes the difference. And if you are wondering how these compare to the previous hog scrubbers, here is a hog 1X. This is, I guess, was the biggest, most powerful up till this time. So uh, that's it right there. We'll set that on there and you can see comparison of the shells. So this was the Hog 1X. It's the same size as the Hog 1 and the Hog 0.5. So they all use that same size shell and even for them the inside is the only thing that's different. Alright? So, on to the larger Hog scrubbers and let's start with removing these other two and starting with the smaller one. And uh, I am sitting next to a window here, and uh, it's a Sunday. There shouldn't be any traffic, but there is, so that might be what you hear. All right, so what we have here is a acrylic wall. It's actually two pieces connected together, which is about 5 8 inch thick. Let's see here. That's going to be right about there. Okay. And uh, that's going to be about uh, 16 millimeters. It's about the most that you're going to get with these new hog scrubbers. Is about 16 millimeters of good attachment. If you want to go 18 millimeters or maybe even to one inch, uh, there is a way to do that, but it's not meant to do that from the package right here. I'll show you. Okay, so all three of these new hog scrubbers are the same on the outside. You have, in these uh, new styles, you have six magnets. Okay, six magnets. They're all the large, long size, um, high power, rare earth magnets. They're on both sides. This is the bubble side. Of course, we just have the tubing wrapped around for now. But there's your six magnets right there. Uh, we have it on two pieces of um, cardboard because they're pretty strong. Alrighty. So uh, it has a strain relief here. Of course, your UL and CE approved power supply which of course, as is the case with all these scrubber power supplies that we make, they are isolated from the main, meaning that there's no real connection from the plug to the part that goes into the scrubber. They're not really connected. They're, they just go through like a magnetic uh, connection, a transformer. So there's no connection. And you can actually drop the LEDs into water, and they'll still work until they corrode after a couple hours, a couple days. Uh, so there's no connection at all. They're completely isolated. And, um, so, oh, and of course, now this is a UL plug. They all have, I'm sorry, this is a US plug, Northern America. Uh, they all have, all our scrubbers currently have this plug. And if you want to plug for Europe or any place else, all you need to do is just get the little plug adapter from your hardware store and it'll plug right in and it will still work on 220, 240 volts. You don't need to change this. So this plug can just use an adapter. Or just cut it off and go to the hardware store and get your own plug. It's just a two wire plug and get your own plug for your own country. It'll work fine. You don't need to change this. Alrighty, so of course the magnets are epoxy coated on the inside, which you can't see, and on the outside they're sealed in an aquarium safe black silicone all the way around. Especially of course on the inside which goes in the water. So let's open this up. You can throw this away. Okay, now this is the Hog 1.3. And what that means is it's designed 
for aquariums fed up to 1.3 cubes of food a day. And if you want that converted to other types of food, just look at the label here. It converts it for you. But generally, it's the smaller of the three new larger hogs. And um, it, as you can see, the green grabber texture is only on the flat bottom part. It's not on the sides. And there's no strings. So it's a one-sided screen this big. Okay? Now that's about 30 square inches. And of course, your air tubing comes down behind the green grabber surface and goes like this. And it's sliced with your segments that you can adjust for your airflow to adjust for your bubbles. And of course, the way it works is just like the old, older hog scrubbers, the smaller ones. The bubbles go up, they pull water in from these holes here, and then it goes out the top hole here and comes out the top. Also, it gets a little bit of flow from the sides, especially if this top hole gets clogged, then the water level will drop down in here, the circulation will then go out the side holes, and it will go like this. Now, uh, if you want to put this on an aquarium and uh, you do not want bubbles, you put it up near the top so the water level is right here. And this acts as a bubble remover here. Okay? Only air comes out the top. If you want bubbles, you move it down further so the water level is here and bubbles come out the top. Some people can't put it up to the top because they have a rim like that and they want to get it up higher. In that case, you can't do that because the rim is going to be in the way. What you do, just attach a hose or a fitting here and just put a hose up to the top with a little connector on it so that it can be lower, but that the hose comes up and turns like this. That way it won't spray water anywhere. And that will allow you to get just air out the top and you won't hit your rim. Okay? So uh, if you can get a close up of the tabs, these are newly cut. They're a little bit wider than what we've done in the past. They're about one inch tabs and you can kind of see a close-up here. You tuck them in like this and you open them like this to clean if you can see that I'm opening them up because after six months or so you'll need to get the stuff out of there and you can be blowing into the tube while you move these around and that helps get the stuff out of the tubing. Uh, sometimes if you have a lot of carbonate buildup and carbonate builds up behind here and clogs it up and airflow starts to really slow down then just put some vinegar down in the tube, let the vinegar soak down, eventually the vinegar will melt the carbonate or lime build up behind here. And then when you blow through here, it will come out. This is an extremely roughed up corner here designed to have a uh, attachment to the glass. And um, as you can see here, we'll go ahead and put this on. This is 5 eighths, 5 eighths. Uh, acrylic right here and so this is about as thick as you're going to go. You can still move it around but if you go to three quarters and certainly to one inch it's going to start dropping down so it's not really designed for that out of the box so one quarter inch to five eighths inch is fine and you can turn it on kind of get a viewpoint of how it looks when it's on uh, of course if the lights weren't on here and we weren't by the window here then um, it would give the aquarium or sump a red kind of a look at night. The fish don't seem to mind. So this particular one, this is the Hog 1.3. It has two LEDs. So this is a low power scrubber. This is designed, this is two LEDs on one heat sink. And of course here's your heat shrink to keep it solid. And uh, this model here, the Hog 1.3, is designed for aquariums that do not have algae problems and you want to keep it that way. So the low power gives you a relatively easy start on the smaller screen size. It won't over uh, saturate it with light like the larger ones will requiring you to cover it or anything like that. So it's relatively straightforward. It doesn't even really get that warm at all. So this is a good entry level one just to keep your aquarium going um, the way you always want it to go. Alrighty so that's the Hog 1.3 This is the Hog 2. Looks the same on the outside. Magne magnets are exactly the same. Of course.
course the tubing, everything's the same on the outside. Difference is going to be primarily you'll see that the green rubber textures are all the way up to the sides now, wrapping all the way up to the corner. That gives you 48 square inches of green grabber algal attachment surface. So the smaller one was only 30 square inches, this is 48. So it gives you much more. All this space is then used. The tubing is exactly the same on the bottom. That hasn't changed. It goes behind here. Everything else is the same. So more attachment surface. And uh, of course the other big difference is the lighting. There's four times, I'm sorry, there's twice the amount of light there's four LEDs instead of two LEDs. And um, this may require you to put a t-shirt or a towel or a stocking or something over the light when you first start. The reason is because the white textures reflect so much of the red light that it overpowers the algae when it's first starting. Okay, so you may need to, with this one, if it takes a while and it's still completely white, you may want to put a shirt or a towel or a stocking over this for a while, like a week or two. That'll dim the light down and allow the algae to start growing here. Once the algae starts growing here, algae of any color, it reduces the reflection of the red light, and then you're back to, uh, you can remove the shirt and then you're back to normal. So uh, this is two heat sinks, four LEDs, that's twice the power. Otherwise, the power supply is the same, just like we said with the smaller one. And also you can still attach a tubing here if you need to come up over the water line. Everything here is the same. This is designed for two cubes of food per day, which is why it's the hog too. Now we have the biggest one, the hog three, designed for three cubes of feeding per day. Everything's the same on the outside. Okay, same power supply, same heat, I'm sorry, same strain relief. Of course, the big difference is going to be on the inside, like before. The big difference here is it's got strings, it has ribbons. Okay, and um, those are hard to install because of the delicateness of the epoxy while the strings are drying, but what this does is convert this to 36 square inches of two-sided growth surface because strings are two-sided by their nature. So this becomes a 36 inch two-sided surface which can, what happens is the growth starts here in the middle area. It doesn't have to start from the flat surface. It can start here at the tips. The other two smaller scrubbers have to start from the flat surface and then grow out so it becomes one-sided. This starts on the two-sided and then grows from the strings and from the surface. The Everything else is the same, the slotted pieces here, the tubing, the rough surface. The other big difference, now we have six LEDs, so it's three heat sinks with six LEDs, strain relief, roughed up edge, same power supply, same North American plug. And uh, for those of you that want to put one of these scrubbers on thick glass, thicker than 5 8 inch, uh, there is a way to do it. You're kind of on your own, but what you would do is you would put some silicon on this edge here of the light only and let the silicon dry probably at least a day, maybe two days. Don't put the silicon on here because it'll get very slippery in the water. You only put the silicon on here. Now you don't glue it to the glass, you just let it dry like this and then when you go to stick it to the glass, let's just pretend this is one inch or maybe three quarter inch and you have silicon on here. When you do that, the silicon sticks to this dry surface much better and it won't slide. So you can actually kind of fake it and allow it to uh, go to thicker glass. One thing about putting silicon on there, you won't be able to slide it. So like here, if you want to slide it and let the fish eat here, and you want to slide it and let the fish eat here off the glass, it's harder to do that when you have silicon on there, but that is a trick that you can do. And it's not permanent, so if you don't like the way it is, you peel the silicon off. Uh, file it down and you're back to where you were before. So, let's see, anything else? You got the strings, the surface, 
the holes. If the hole ever clogs up, then you'll start seeing bubbles coming out the side. Water, that means the water level has, has dropped like this, and that means you need to brush off that hole. If these things get completely packed with algae, then you don't really need to take it to the sink. All you need to do is reach in and grab a handful of this, throw the algae away, and put it back in. And uh, it will get completely packed if you let it run long enough and it turns green with growth. All right, so that's the that is the three hog scrubbers. Hopefully you uh, like one enough to pick one and it works for your tank.